Okay, solve for x and find the missing variables. Okay, on this edge right here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six edges, right? So six minus two times 180 is gonna be 720. So all of my inside angles add up to 720, don't they? My outside angles, I'm gonna divide 360 by six. So 360 divided by six would be 60. So this right here would be 60. This right here would be 360. Hold on. This isn't a regular polygon, so I can't do the 360 divided by 6. Let's go through and get the inside angles. 82 plus 134. This is 72, so this is supplementary. So that means this is going to be 108. So let's add up 108, 82, and 134. 108, 82, and 134. If I add those up, I get 14, carry the 1, 4, 8, 12, carry the 1. I get 324. I need to get to 720. This angle right here, we're going to have to get these on the outside first. This angle right here, these are supplementary. 134 add to 180 would be 46. These are supplementary. This would end up being 108. Okay, so now I know my exterior angles, don't I? I have 72, 46, 108, and I need to get these. So watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to get, wait, that's not 108. This is going to be 98. And that's 108. Okay, so I'm going to add 98 plus 46 plus 72 those are my outside angles aren't they plus 3x plus 2x plus 1x and that's where my 360 is going to come from so 98 plus 72 is 170 plus 46 is 216 3x plus 2x plus 1x is 6x equals 360 so I'm going to subtract the 216. I get 4, 4, 1. So if I add 144 and 216, I get the 360. Divide by 6, and I'm going to get x equals 24. This is a lot of work right here. So x would be 24. That means a, subtract from 180, you would get 156. Okay. 2 times 24 is 48. Take 24 away from 146 and you get 132. And then 3 times 24 is 72. 72 and 108 would be right here, wouldn't it? Wow, that was a lot of work. Okay, right here, find each missing angle. Okay, this is a five-sided figure. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to have five sides. So n minus or five minus two times 180 is 540. I got five sides. Divide by five. Each of these is 108. So I know automatically a is going to be 72 in it. Okay, because these two are supplementary. Now then, let's do this one right here. Okay, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's going to be 8 minus 2 times 180 divided by 8. You're going to get 6. That's going to be 1080 divided by 8. And you're going to get 130. Okay, so each of these is 130 in it. That means M is going to be 50 in it. 108 and 130 is 238. 238, all three of these are going to add up to 360, aren't they? So 238, 360 minus 238 is 2, 2, 1. This is going to be 122. And then these four have to add up to 360. So 72 and 22 is 194, 244. 
360 minus 244 is 611. 116 is C. So if I add up 72, 116, 50, and 122, I'll get 360. Okay, so A is going to be 72, N is going to be 122, M is going to be 50, and C is going to be 116. So on this one, I had to find each interior angle of a pentagon, which is 108. I had to find each interior of an octagon, which is 130, and then use supplementary angles to get these, right? And this is a 1, 2, 3, 4-sided figure. These are going to add up to 360.